everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. We're here on our extraordinary planet, or, uh, egg-extraordinary planet, as I should say. And things are going pretty well for us right now. What's this dude ch doing chilling out there? Wasn't I having someone rescue him? Maybe he just landed and we were going to get started on that in this episode. There's a lot of stuff that I remember that I had to do, like try to get people to prioritize things, and that was food! That was the big thing. Okay, we're very, very low on food. We've only got four left, but our hydroponics tables are growing. So I want to make sure that Woodward worked with the, the raspberry bushes. Okay, so I just need to make sure that happens then. Would probably also be a good idea at this point to get that ad additional prisoner in here. So let's let's go ahead and rescue that dude. We can put his bed right there in that corner. And uh, Gonzalo, we can have... Um, him go ahead and grab him. Uh, one thing I gotta say about uh, Gonzalo here, uh, my my fellow YouTuber and uh, fellow friend, uh, Sea Otter, Sea Otter Gamer. He he was he's mentioned before in the comments that he thought that I called this guy Gonzalo, and I really regret that now. I wish I did. It would have been another like a uh, uh, ancestor or relative to Guns. Like uh, as as Sea Otter mentioned, it would be his Latino cousin or something like that. So I'm super sad I didn't think of that, but, you know, we could, we could like, keep that idea in our hearts. From now on, maybe we'll call this guy Gonzalo instead, or at least if I can remember to. Woodward, I would love you to, uh, let's have, he is growing in there, which is very, very important. But I think getting the raspberry bushes done might be more important, because these things are already fresh and already grown. So let's just have him quickly go ahead, grow all three of these, or four, whatever, then he could just haul it. Yeah, pr prioritize hauling all that. From that point on, I think we should feel a bit safer about our situation, because we're going to, um, hopefully have enough to at least get a few meals in. Granted, each one of those was only seven, so that's not very much everything considered in regards to, um, the amount of food that we've got, but we'll, we'll just have to manage. So let's go ahead and obviously set up these two so we're, we'll be capable of recruiting them. And, um... Oh, no, see, Abraham's even gonna just eat that. That's very, very sucky. How, how far are these grown? 97% on that end of things. Obviously, these ones are a lot farther away from being fully grown, but... It's moving along. Like, this one's actually 101% grown? I didn't know that could even happen. That's pretty crazy. I wonder what that means for the plant. Is that, does that just mean that the plant is growing, like, outside the boundaries of the hydroponics table? I don't know. I don't know what that would mean in this reality. So you are going to continue growing, my good sir. Can you, like, specifically do that one? Yes, he can! Awesome! I don't know how I feel about our food situation right now. It's it's good, but it's also pretty tense, or or we're in a pretty tense spot in regards to it, because I would like things to move much faster. Once we get a bit more of the research done, because despite the food being a pretty critical thing at this moment, seeing as we have zero in our hoppers, I think the research is also something that we need to prioritize. Also, I did completely forget that all of these are practically fully grown as well, so hopefully we'll be able to actually harvest those before too long. And then we've got all the other raspberry bushes scattered around the map. I think as long as we play it smart, we should be able to handle all this okay. Which probably means that if we're going to, like, start playing it smart, we should do it right now. Woodward, why, why can't I select you? Select to have you work with these berry bushes, my good sir. Okay, we could do it with this one, apparently. But not the others, for whatever reason. Ah, nice! Okay, that's also very good for us as well, because now, obviously, we're going to be using 10% less food. So let's do the blasting charges for now. Then it will probably be the picks. And in the midst of that, how much metal do we have scattered around? I thought our metal supply was okay, but checking the map over again, it looks like we actually have basically no supply of metal. That's rough. That's actually pretty bad. So let's go ahead and set up a mining operation, or set up so our people will start mining. Um, do we want to get a close-by one or a far one? Almost certainly a close-by one, so let's let's go ahead and do this one, since this one needs, seems to be the nearest uh, 
mining area that's got, like, the highest consecration of metal as well. So that'll be okay. Um, I believe Abraham is our main miner, so he should get to work on that. Well, Woodward, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have you do a lot of work down here, so you're not gonna be able to decide what you do on your own. Ba basically, I'm I'm becoming the ruler of man in regards to Wood Woodward here, and he keeps having all these independent thoughts, but I'm just, uh, giving him a little smack on the back of the noggin, saying, No! No, Woodward, you're not gonna do that. <laughs> like, bad, Woodward, bad. That kind of thing. Let's have him actually haul the potatoes. Because that should be done quick. Get all that in the hopper. Whoa, that was crazy! Oh, God, poor Gonzalo and our poor research table. We might be able to get that fire out really quick, but we're gonna need to rush like mad. This might be unfortunate because- actually, we can put fires out completely surrounding the research bench. So I think we- thinking about the situation again, we probably actually should be able to get all that put out if, if our people really rush. The bigger pain is probably actually that, um, Gonzalo might be going a little bit crazy here seeing as that he's on fire. I wish you would actually stay outside, Gonzalo. Can I- no, I can't control you at all. Don't go inside, dude! It's freaking raining out! God damn, Gonzalo, you're an idiot. <laughs> Luckily, the rain is actually handling the fire on its own, so things might be okay in that regards. Apparently, Gonzalo is the world's stupidest man, though. Just, yeah, thank you, Abraham. Gonzalo, if, if you catch on fire and it's raining outside, a smart thing would be to not go indoors. <laughs> I would imagine that'd be pretty obvious, but apparently it's not. Apparently not for Gonzalo there, so... Shoot! A solar flare! That's actually really bad for our position, because now obviously our food is not gonna grow, at least not nearly as fast as I would like it to. Which means we're restricted to an outside garden. Luckily, these are all actually fully grown, so... It's kind of silly that I'm going back to this, but I think I actually might want to set up that garden once again so Woodbury can focus on that. You're going to prioritize that growing area because there really is, at this point, no real reason to get the the the, the, the work done inside, you know? Uh, Woodward's going to get some rest. We do have 24 food. Obviously, that's very, very bad. Not Not nearly as much as we would want. And our warden skills are not getting done at all because... Actually, or did Abraham just try to talk with these dudes? Let, let's let's check their thoughts. Yeah, we're getting close to the the threshold for both of them, but there still is a long way to go in that regards. I don't know. I really want to get more people, but looking at the position that our base is in right now, especially with the solar solar flare, I'm kind of imagining that it might take a while to get to that point. Which is definitely very, very sucky, but that might just be the way that things are going to have to be for now. Let's continue to order for all this to be mined out. Once that's finished, we're actually definitely going to work on finishing off the wall over here before anything else, I think. And uh, probably also walling off the bottom. Nice! Blasting charges finished. That's very, very good. Picks, gun touring coolets, or carpeting. Let's go for the... Or actually, do we stop doing research right now? Let's actually put a hold on research for the time being, because everything that's left is still very important, especially the picks, the, um, the, uh, the, basically they're all very important, the picks, the carpeting, and the gun turret coolets, um, or the, wait, gun turret cooling. I don't know what I said. <laughs> but I also think it's actually much more important to... Have another person doing all these tasks on the side, just to make sure our base keeps on, um... Uh, keep, keeps on growing for the time being. I think that's actually more important at this current moment than getting that research done. Uh, keep, keeping the good progression of our base. Because the more we do that, the more we'll be able to get more food before too long. In fact, let's actually have Woodbury, uh, Woodward, not Woodbury, prioritize growing this specific one. I want them to prioritize all of these just so we could get them finished. So someone can then haul them like it looks like Gonzalo is doing, which is freaking awesome. Oh no, Gonzalo's just gonna eat instead. That's a little bit unfortunate. And now there's raiders landing. Only one raider though, near one of the 
most massive fires the world has ever seen. And he's only got a pistol. So Ben Cook. Isn't that a comedian? That name sounds unbelievably familiar to me. I think that's a comedian. Um, or like a talk show host or something. Ben Cook should go down pretty damn easily. Regardless of, no of, of whether or not he's a comedian or not, he's got pretty damn uh, a jacket right there. And, and if nothing else, we really want that jacket. Whether or not it's on him or in the ground with his corpse. So he's going to uh, go down before too long, I'm sure. What, is, what does Abraham have? Abraham is our normal shot. Gonzalo or Gonzalo has our Lee Enfield, of course. Fire. Where'd that fire hit? Not too far away. That's good. Oh, it is still a rainy thunderstorm. I was about to say, it's dry. Why do we keep getting all these fires? But in fact, that actually is not the case at all. Hopefully this th thunderstorm will end before too long, but obviously... Not the worst case in the world. What is our prisoner doing in this room? <laughs> our pris- uh, Oh, it's because the door hasn't been built. Can you, like, get back into the right room, dude? Thank you. Now, can John, can you go back into the right room? I don't know what is up with those people. How are their thoughts? Yeah, they're, they're in a bad condition. Uh, the solar flare has ended, though, so let, let's actually- We really need to get these lights- completed because that's one of the main things that's gonna be making those people so unhappy so once abraham's done eating we'll have him work on that wait Ab abraham oh he's okay helping the person so here comes our raider attack shouldn't be all that bad i would imagine let's go ahead and put gonzalo like up there for now because lee enfield beats pistol so i would imagine we're gonna be in a good spot and actually that might be a pretty good place for cover we should slow down time though and this raider is still very wounded, which is very, very unfortunate. This, uh, Ben Cook probably should have actually waited a little bit before initiating his attack, because he's just gonna make a fool of himself! He's down to 35 health, and he's only, like, smacked our door a couple of times. He's about to die. What a silly man. He is dead. Well, Ben Cook, was it worth your life to try for my horn? That's what I have to ask you. Like... <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know what the hell I'm talking about, that's, uh... Actually, you know what, we're gonna... Nah, I'll tell you guys. That, that's a Magnus quote, Dota 2 thing. Um, Abraham failed to recruit. That's very, very unfortunate. Let's go ahead and get our first grave built! Hopefully we'll be stacking these up before too long and we'll become... Masterminds of Destruction or something like that. I don't even think time ever slowed down in the midst of that attack. That's pretty cool. NICE! All of that food is going to be very beneficial for us. Gonzalo, what's up? Probably see a dead corpse. Witnessed someone's death and ate raw food. Slept outside, sharing bedroom. Yeah, you've got a lot of negatives. A lot of those should also go away before too long, I think, though. So let's actually have, um... You're gonna keep working on this, Abraham, because I want that finished so we could get this body out of here. Can Abraham not haul? Abraham can haul. So every now and then, this game does this thing where I can't right-click things, and it's very, very irritating. I don't really know what's causing it. Maybe Woodward, I can... S no, I cannot right-click to select this raider at all. Which obviously is very bad, because that means I'm not going to be able to get rid of this corpse. Very strange. Hmm... How about now? No, not now. Well, I guess we'll just have to deal with things as they come along. The worst part about it is Gonzalo... Um, um, yeah, Gonzalo is going to continue to be very, very unhappy. We do have another traveler passing by, though. Mr. Mark the Artist. So we'll... We'll definitely try to capture him, although our, our prisoner room is getting a little bit stocked up on people, and I probably should, um... Try to, like focus on getting these people finished with uh, the recruiting rather than getting like more and more people um that i need to work on recruiting but i think this should work out fine actually in fact maybe let's actually get rid of john's bed and move it in here since he's in here anyways isn't it oh crap but we can't oh no we can do that we just can't put a prisoner bed in the room with the nutrient paste dispenser that that's good then 
So once Gonzalo puts that away, let's go ahead and capture this dude right up here. It's pretty far away. Can I not right-click him either? I can't right-click him either. <sighs> this seems to be so this seems to be a glitch that is new with the most recent patch of the game. If I remember correctly, I don't think I ever dealt with this in the past. But it's something that shows up pretty frequently in my play with this one, which obviously is very, very irritating. Um, right now I'm not selected on any of our colonists, so that's why it wouldn't work right there. And actually, if I do remember correctly, I think I, to be able to, um, capture these dudes, I did need to put Gonzalo into, um, uh, drafting mode or whatever it's called, so that, that one was probably my mistake. Yeah, that was my mistake. That one's my bad, so I'm sorry for complaining about that, but, but, uh, once again, with this dead corpse, it's just really weird how I can't seem to bury it. Or select for people to bury it. Granted, though, actually, this grave hasn't been built. So maybe I'm just making a complete fool of myself. And maybe it was, uh, Abraham's fault here for not getting that grave completed. <laughs> so once he's done eating, which I think he is, let's have him finish that. And then he better be able to haul this thing. Yes, okay. Never mind. Uh, that was 100% my bad then. Uh, just all complete mistakes on my part. So, good to know that it's not the game acting up or anything like that. It's just me being a complete moron, apparently. So let's get this light built. Because otherwise John in there is going to be a very sad panda. Do we have lights for all of the rooms? That's the... I mean, for the all the corners of this room. No, we don't. Maybe that's something I'll work on later. Maybe not. Um... Oh, of course Mark is... Okay. <laughs> of course Mark has been put in this room and claimed this bed, so we actually have to make a new bed for for John right now. That That's absolutely silly. Uh, Mark, we're going to mess with you. Mark has a pretty high threshold, which is unfortunate. Let's actually not work with Mark right now. I, I would rather just focus on the people at hand, or, or the people that we've already worked on a little. Hopefully we'll be able to get Haskell right here to join our squad before too long. He's a tinker, so you would imagine that he would be pretty good with his hands. Don't eat the potatoes! Don't eat the raw potatoes, Haskell! That's gonna make you sad! We want you to be happy! We'll bring you nutrient paste! Don't be a big ding-dong about things. God damn it. Oh well, uh, besides that little small mishap, things are, our, our base is in a pretty good spot, I think, right now. Let's go ahead and set up to get that whole wall built, and then we could actually probably also get to work on finishing off this room as well, at least so we could close it up so our, ra so our uh, people won't be upset in this room, being all like, hey, oh nice! We got Haskell! Okay, let's let's start by having Haskell equip this pistol right here. So he has a weapon of his own. Then what are you good at, Haskell? You are going to be a prioritized one firefighter like everyone else. Hmm. He could be an additional warden, although he's god-awful. He's only got one out of ten in the skill. Do kind of like the idea of having an additional warden, though. But probably having another miner might be more important. So let's actually make... Abraham a two miner, so he would prioritize Warden over anything else. Then do we also want to swap Hus Haskell to being a researcher? Might be a good idea. It would open up having uh, Gonzalo for doing a lot of things. So let's actually do that. We'll make him a number one researcher as well, so whenever he's not doing research, he'll be mining. Um... Although that puts us in a similar predicament with uh, what we had with Abraham. Wait, was it Abraham? No, it wasn't Abraham because it was Gonzalo. I don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. Okay, then we'll just make the rest like twos. Um, hmm. I would like to have someone who's a number one for hauling, though. Because hauling is so critical. Maybe we'll make hauling to make pre uh, these can go to zeros though. Maybe we'll just set everything up so the rest are twos and threes, and then the next person we recruit can become like a, a designated hauler. I think that would be a good idea. That should handle things pretty effectively, and um, allow us to get a lot of good work done. I think so. Trigger to get that all set up. What? 
do I want to work on once all of this is set up? I don't think I want to get this bottom wall built quite- uh, for, for at least a short while. And we could actually cancel this outside garden once again, which is a little bit silly. That's like two times where I've put that down for- with, with, with very little benefit. But it's good to know we our, our garden inside is actually working very well now. And we can actually sell that prisoner room, so this can once again become our designated, um, uh, plantation, rather than having to, like, waste space in some regards. Speaking of which, let's actually... Ah, uh, the sun lamp won't be powered if it's right there. What if I put down one additional wall? Will it be able to reach it then? Probably not, but a man can dream, so hopefully that'll work out for us. After all of this construction is finished, or maybe even while it's being done, what I think we should probably do is we definitely need to get a, a, a straight-up prisoner room going. Where that would be best is the question. Also, we need to get our... our Oh god, go away, I've asked updates. I really need to figure out how to turn that freaking thing off. Wow! Abraham and Gonzalo were like cloned into each other, like warped into each other. That was really silly looking because they were standing on the exact same square, I suppose. Um, but two main things we need to get built right now is that communications table or a communications desk or commands console or a communications console, not commands. And then also, of course, a prisoner room, because it's not going to be very good for us having all the prisoners chilling in here, although it does function okay for now. And speaking of stuff like that, we should probably set up to start trying to recruit Mark. How is John coming along? That's a good question. John is coming along very well, so hopefully John will be completed before too long also. I think I would rather get the communications console up first, though before a prisoner room, because like I said, this is actually functioning okay as a prisoner room. So let's set up this comm console room right here, it'll fit nicely next to um, the research bench. Then we could probably make this whole area a prisoner room? I'll have to see. Could also put it right here as well, but I, I think I like the idea of having one covering this whole expanse, or, or maybe a bit smaller, having it like that, then we can have a... a Maybe a battery room down there, because we should get more batteries placed in as well. Only having two at this point is probably not where we'd want to be, especially as we add in more and more lamps and lights as, as time goes along. Speaking of lamps and lights, though, we need to put uh, at least one right in there. And let's get that chair built. It's been high time for us to uh, put that chair down. You want me to throw the chair down? Ah! <laughs> I have no idea what the quote after that is. That's why I just did like a weird random rambling. What is bad about our situation? Probably that probably one poor thing and something that we definitely need to consider is that the next raider attack is probably going to be rather intense. Which is good reason why we would want to block off this bottom area. The reason why I don't want to do that, though, is because that's going to roof in all of this. And I really don't want that roofed in right now. It's just going to cause issues. So maybe I should actually just wall off that area, because I'd be alright with that being walled off. Because I don't think that would make too many, like, gaps between the, the, the ceiling. And that's main. That's the main reason why I don't want to have all of this roofed, um, or 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 have the wall. Uh, ha yeah, have all of this roofed, uh, or have a roof put over all this. I, I don't. Basically, why I was messing around with saying that so much is because I'm not sure that's the proper way to say it. But um, but that's why I don't want a roof over this whole area because there's at least going to be a couple gaps. We're dealing with another rainy thunderstorm. Of course. Not n nowhere near as bad as a dry thunderstorm, but they're still very scary, so I really hate it whenever these things pop up. A traveler is passing by. Nice. We could get another person. It's a surgeon, so you would think she'd be wonderful with the doctor skill, but um, or Doctor Ring skill. But obviously, that's not important at all. But you know, always super good to have addi additional colonists. So let's place down that bed right there. Where are you at, Gonzalo? You could probably go ahead um, and capture this lady for me. Get that research done later. 
I think we definitely are getting to the point, though, where before too long we're going to almost certainly have quite a, uh, quite a scary raider force coming in to attack us, so... Definitely need to consider our options and, uh, decide what we need to prioritize and all that jazz. John, how are you doing? Oh, man, if this fails, I'll be a little bit sad. Although John was getting increasingly scared while Abraham was talking to John, so maybe John is like, I don't know. I mean, maybe Abraham was like, being like, if you don't join us, I'll, f I'll, I'll kill your whole family. And John's like, oh, God, stay away from me, dude. How are you going to find them? We're stranded on this rim world. Like that kind of thing. Hmm. I also definitely need to consider that I need to get colonists, give my colonists their own bedrooms. Who's exhausted? Oh, Haskell is exhausted. Because he doesn't have a frickin' bed! Holy cow! I cannot make mistakes like that! Those are very, very, very poor mistakes. Haskell, you need to get some sleep right away, my good sir. Once you're done eating, please, please, please do that. So he's going to be sleeping outside in the cold rain, which is unfortunate for him, but he's just going to have to deal with that for now. Let's also see if this sun lamp can be placed there. Ah, oh, nice! That actually does give it enough room to still be powered. That's awesome. So I think I'm actually having a change of plans now. I, I completely forgot about giving my own colonist beds, which is really stupid of me. I think because of that, the next thing that we need to work on is, um is uh, colonist beds, in addition to some of the other things I mentioned. Like, hmm, what's more important though, prisoner beds or battery rooms? Right now we're still in the positives for uh, the, the our power that's coming in, so I don't think we need to worry about power too much. Another failure to recruit, which is unfortunate. Gonzalo, I need to unmark you, so you can actually uh, go about your own thing. Talking about really good things about our situation right now, though, food is no longer a con concern at all. Not necessarily metal as well. We have so much metal just chilling right out here that uh, hopefully someone will haul eventually, but obviously it's not that bad if that doesn't get to haul it immediately. But then, like, food is so nice for us. And once all that metal is done, we still have... Uh, we, we still don't know how much metal is right in here based on this one mineral block, but we have a ton there, we've got a ton there, we, we still have our starter-like pack that we haven't even started digging into. So basically we've got a lot of metal, <laughs> to say the least. What is this about? Nice! Got a new recruit, we've got Mark on our side. Mark cannot haul though, which probably means that so one of these four are going to be turned into a de designated hauler. This guy's mark is really good at um at mining, so let's actually make it uh, the Haskell. Haskell will become our main hauler. Put that at one. I think that will actually be very very good. Can make make that probably. Actually, we'll leave that as a three. As, uh, like it was before, at least I think it was a three. Mainly just because, uh, uh, Mark it doesn't have an incredible amount of stuff going for him. Although, actually, he can do pretty much most of the skills that count. Yeah, actually. It, it, hauling is so vital, but he, he does a lot of really, really important stuff. So... But, do I want him to do that stuff? That's the question. He definitely won't do uh, growing and plant cutting, obviously, since he's our miner. So let's actually set all these to three. He'll be our, our miner and um, uh, cleaner, and then Haskell can be another hauler as well. And, of course, firefighting set to one, because I think everyone should be firefighting. I wouldn't be surprised if there actually w were a lot of, like, justified reasons out there for, for why you wouldn't want to, uh, put so many, uh, points. I, I mean, make everyone firefighters, but, uh, but still, fi fire can cause you so much troubles. So I, I think it makes a lot of sense to actually, uh, focus really hard on making everyone a firefighter. 
What do we want to do now? Now that we have additional people, that is uh, obviously a very, very beneficial thing to us. We could continue mining once again. Make sure that we don't have to worry about metal for a very long time. But actually, if I were to focus on having someone mine on our team, I think I would want to mine out more into our base so I can continue to grow in that regards. So let's actually mine out that much. Uh, also mine out that portion. Probably also that much as well. Once all that's done, I could start putting down additional walls in here and get a better idea of what, how I want the base to, uh, pan out in its future. Hmm. Or how I want it to develop in its future, that's a better way of wording it. Let's sell that. Means we need to put down an another bed, of course. So we'll actually move that bed right up about there. Another failure to recruit, but those actually should be finished in, in no time, I, I would imagine. Put you right there. And then we'll actually have already two um, original rooms for two of our people, which will obviously be very, very beneficial to their happiness and stuff like that. We could sell this bed. And um, for the time being, we're for the time being, of course, we're just going to keep on putting down the sleeping pods because those are the quick and standard ones. But once... um. Actually, probably right about now I should stop putting down those sleeping pods and, and set them up the way I would want them to be, which uh, would obviously be the standard beds. So let's let's actually do that right now. Could put one right there. Which means we'll probably have a door... No! Oh, if I clicked a second earlier, I would have spared myself a few resources, but that's okay. We could put food in here, right? I mean, I wouldn't want food stockpiled in here because... I mean, what would be the point? Uh, because obviously then our, the, our prisoners would just start eating them, which is not what we want. Actually, I think I definitely would also rather have the food placed down here rather than anywhere else. I should test to see whether or not the launch pads work inside. Does it say anything about that in their description? If these things make any logical sense, I would have to guess that they don't work inside, but let's see. Only items on launch pads can be sold to space traders. Only works if not roofed over. Okay, there's our answer. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Apparently this game... Because that thing is meant... The, the whole point of this thing being in the game is so that uh, selling to traders actually makes logical sense. So obviously they wouldn't... Uh, uh, the developer wouldn't set it up so that it wouldn't work logically, you know? Mark, I'm actually going to have you prioritize getting this bed done, because I definitely want to make sure our people have places to sleep. Why would you just... That's the thing that confuses me about the AI in this game. Oh, I guess he stopped beca because Woodward took over? I don't know. Well, one thing's to say for sure. Ever since the new uh, patch to this game, oftentimes I feel like I don't really understand how the AI works anymore. <laughs> Which is fine. It's just uh, a little bit confusing at times. Aw, oh, man, I set this room up in a way that I don't like. In fact, let's actually, let's actually change it. Obviously, this is going to be a, a little bit of a waste of resources. Why can't I... Wait, why... Whoa, selling works differently now. It just doesn't disappear. It actually marks it. Oh! Does that mean because essentially it just gets turned into metal? L let's watch this. I wouldn't be surprised if instead of the thing disappearing and we just get more metal in our stash, the people actually have to walk over to it, destroy it itself to turn it into metal, and then they th that metal just becomes a resource that's chilling in, in that spot. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how the... If that's a recent change to how the game works, and would be a pretty cool one. Once again, it obviously makes things a little bit more uh, difficult for the players, but for for growth in in regards to the the logic and how this game actually makes sense, I I think that's really cool. So obviously, it still doesn't work for the sleeping pods though, because those go for zero, so they don't actually have anything. Oh, it actually tells you their effectiveness? I didn't know that. I never noticed that. Nice to know that sleeping pods are eight-tenths as good as, um, the normal beds. I would imagine it would have actually been much worse. Like, I would imagine the sleeping pods would be, like, 
50% as effective as the normal bed, so good to know that they're actually not all that bad. And yes, it did work the way I thought it would. That is really cool. So let's swap to putting that right there, put that right there. Main reason why I'm doing that is just because I feel like having the bed right there will look a lot nicer now. Um, which probably means I'd actually want to sell that lamp and have the room pretty much identical to the one on the opposite side, or, or this room right here. I think that would be an okay way to handle things. Means we have to put down another bed, of course. Oh shoot, did we recruit someone? Why do we need more colonist beds? I thought this is just... Oh, because this one's being built. Okay. Never mind then. Let's have Gonzalo work on that then. Uh, can't do it because Abraham's doing it. Okay, that's fine. It's fine and dandy. All that metal's chilling right there. Let's actually... I, I, I believe I actually wanted to do this before, but I didn't because we might have wanted to sell it. Let's actually cancel the metal in there. I don't think I want metal placed in there. Because we're going to want to use the metal ourselves, rather than selling it to traders. And we have so much food now that we shouldn't need to worry about that. Speaking of our food supply, I have completely forgot to keep an eye on whether or not traders are coming in. Hopefully none of them flew by and then left. If, if they do did, I'm sure you guys will yell at me about that. Be like, oh, Brendan, you idiot! You missed the raiders, but um... If they did, I'm, I'm sure, I'm, I mean, not raiders, the, the trade ships that flew by. If they do, I'm sure we'll get future chances to work on that. Nice to know that we've got a metal supply inside of our base and got another failed recruit, I mean, successful recruit. Freaking awesome. That means we could also sell one of the beds in here, which uh, definitely makes me happy because I really, really want to set up a specific prisoner room. I'm still not sure, though, if that's what should be prioritized next. Whether or not it, it is the best option, I think we might as well do it. This right here would probably be a good spot for a prisoner room, so why don't we go ahead, mine out that whole sector. Also, uh, will allow us to mine out this wall as well, so we could start uh, putting down real walls, like our, our actual metal walls, rather than sticking to the, the rock walls. And then, um... Yeah, should mean that future construction with our base will work nice, and it means we get to get into this metal supply right there. And if nothing else, that's definitely a, a positive to gain to work on this, so... So yeah, th th this should be very, very good for our base. And actually, we're at 37 minutes, holy cow. Lately, I've been so bad about managing watching the clock properly, but, um... Who knows? Uh, it, it's not a bad thing if these episodes go a little bit longer than previous ones do. I really love keeping this series at around 35 minutes, but, um... You know, 35 minutes is pretty long, so I'd imagine that you guys would be perfectly fine if you've stuck around for this much. Just stick around for, like, a couple of minutes more if I, whenever I do forget. But, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.